Start off by cutting the ends of the beet. You're gonna want to have to have a sharp knife for this because the root of the beet is really tough. The next step you want to do is gather up enough foil to wrap your beets in and we're gonna add some olive oil, salt, and pepper. Once everything's seasoned to taste, you're gonna want to mix your beets and wrap it with the foil. So by wrapping it in foil, you're ensuring that your beets steam while they're in the oven. So now you're going to rewrap the foil again just so the oil doesn't leak out. Now you're going to want to pop your beets in the oven at 350 for 45 minutes to an hour. The way to make sure your beets are done is to put a toothpick right through the middle and if it goes in smooth, that means it's all cooked. So the next step is to peel your beets with a towel. My suggestion is to do it with a towel you don't like because the color will bleed to your towel. The next step, you're going to cut the tops, the ends, and the sides of your beets. Now you're going to cut it in half, and then flip it, cut it in half again, and then you're going to turn it halfway and cut it in half again. And that should give you pretty even square shapes. So these are radish sprouts and they're really dope. You can find them at any local farmer's market. And what you wanna do is pretty much dress it in your Meyer lemon vinaigrette, add your seasoning, salt and pepper, and just mix it in your bowl. So these are pea tendrils. You could also find them at your local farmer's market. So they kind of taste like peas, but a little woodier. And they're really good and I think it adds a lot of depth to your dish. And again, you're just gonna season it with salt, pepper, and that Meyer lemon vinaigrette and just toss it in your bowl. Now watch closely as I plate. So this is bee pollen and it kind of tastes like dried honey. It's really dope. So if you guys enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos. And I try to post every week. See you guys next time.